okay uh, once again welcome back in last session we guys have seen noise pollution and uh, we are at one particular slide and from that particular slide we are going to start our sessions so if you would like to ask some questions you can ask some questions at the end of this lecture so friends once again welcome back i think we were going through the remedies to uh or uh, how to avoid noise pollution that was the point of discussion and there we guys have stopped sorry light pollution is my screen visible yes sir so at this particular slide we guys have stopped and from this particular slide onwards we are going to see so here in this slide or before this slide we guys have seen land pollution then concept of land pollution we guys have seen then causes of land pollution we have gone through then we have seen how the land pollution is taking place then effects of land pollution we guys have taken in a very effective manner then prevention of land pollution this is not no i think we have not seen this one effects of land pollution we have seen right effects we have seen na no, no. Only picture we have seen, right? Tell me. Hello. Yes, sir. Are you bolan are you? Hello. Yes, sir. Effects note there, na? Plain us the. Apan he he picture file ho the. Baro bar. Haan, sir. Baro bar. Okay, that's another chale. Tomorrow I confusion hota sir. Karam bar chale ek chale karta hai tumi. Uh, now we are going to see uh, effects of land pollution. If land pollution is there, what sort of effects are taking place? So these are the effects, and I have noted down those effects here. The land cannot be used to build houses. Basically, uh, when we start, when we get, uh, when our land get polluted, we cannot use that particular land for the purpose of construction of houses, because uh, once the land is polluted, then uh, we cannot make any use of land. then man man cannot be farming uh, if the land is polluted then farming is not possible uh, agricultural activities are not possible this is what lord land should not be polluted so this sort of precautions if we take definitely it will be useful but thing is that uh, once the land is polluted then there is no use of that land other particular land and land we cannot construct houses on the land then we cannot do any Farming activity also on the land, so farming is not possible if it is polluted. Then groundwater will get affected. Even when we trouble land, definitely it will trouble us on different resources also. Uh, once the land is polluted, automatically it will affect on the groundwater level and groundwater also. So this is what it is not good. Then death of the animals that inhabited the land. Even because of this, uh, there may be a possibility of deaths of animal. because uh, entire food that they get from the land only so this is what land should not be polluted and these are the effects of land pollution as i told you as i mentioned here in this slide uh, once again i repeat these points and then afterwards we go for uh, prevention measures to mm -hmm. you know uh, protect land from the pollution so if land gets polluted then there are different adverse effects we cannot use to build houses then farming is not possible then water ground water we can say the water inside the ground is called as ground water will get affected and deaths of animal is there so because of this or because of this kind of uh, adverse effects land pollution is not you know good as such now we are going to talk about prevention of land pollution how this land prevention land uh, pollution can be stopped so if you want to you know uh, stop land from uh, pollution or if you want to protect land from pollution so what sort of preventive pre preventive measures can be taken those uh, we have taken here so by going through these measures or by going through this prevent prevention or preventive measures we will be able to understand what sort of precautions are necessary to prevent land from the pollution so here are certain preventive measures one by one i will tell you more and more land should be brought under farming 
So whatever land we see around us, instead of using that uh, land for commercial activities, if we use those land, uh, that particular land for the farming purpose, then that is okay. When we uh, do farming activities on the land, that is always good. Instead of doing commercial activities on the land, is not that much good. So when we, uh, if we want to prevent land pollution, then this one is a first preventive measure. And that preventive measure is what? We should try our level best to bring, uh, you know, as much as land under farming activities. Then trees should be planted everywhere. So wherever you get a chance, wherever there is a chance, as far as the land is concerned, trees should be planted. So I think if we prefer tree plantation, then that is always, you know, always okay, always good. And this is what tree plantation is necessary. Hello? Yes, sir. Hmm. Hmm. Perfectly. I question the link. Oh. Yeah. The Maja Parana post Lil Serazan. Teja Mojalet Maja Parana Punis Mala report Kelly of Yamsa Mojaleto Yamuja Lang. We lecture get to a lecture get to me Kalyana Ray, Punjab. Hm? Yeah. ठीक है मी आता लेक्चर घेतो मी तुमच्या खाली येतो हम्म ओके सो ट्रीज शुड बी प्लांटेड एवरीवेयर व्हेरएवर देयर इज अ चांस टू प्लांट द ट्री एंड वेस्ट मैटर शुड बी डिस्पोज्ड इमीडिएटली व्हाटएवर वेस्ट वी गेट वेदर इट इज यू नो यू नो सॉलिड वेस्ट और लिक्विड वेस्ट दैट शुड बी डिस्पोज्ड इन अ प्रॉपर वे नॉट एंड व्हेन वी डिस्पोज दैट टेक केयर that uh, you know it should not be affected on the land and even any other sort of or type of pollution then avoid drilling the land for more underground water as we know that we go for borewell and we drill the land to get underground water for different purposes we try to get underground water for farming we try to get underground water for what do we call it underground water for housing purpose and uh, if we keep drilling the land then it will be a uh, very bad things so we should stop drilling the land that is the only source then avoid using more fertilizers and pesticides and uh, as i told you farmers they are using fertilizers and pesticides and insects insecticides also and then that is adversely affecting on the quality of the land and even on the soil of the land also so if we stop uh, or if we avoid instead of, instead of saying stop i can say like that if we avoid using more fertilizers so the use of fertilizer should be limited and if we go for limited use of fertilizers and pesticides then definitely it will uh, protect the quality and protect the land pollution also then integrated solid waste management there should be a, a scheme there should be a policy which is called as integrated solid solid waste management policy and that should be there with everyone. And if we apply this policy, which is called as integrated solid waste management policy, then definitely we can prevent land from the pollution. Then good agricultural practices. As I told you, people are going uh, for uh, you know very worst agricultural practices to get more out from the agricultural trade. They use you know they go for massive or excessive use of agriculture um, fertilizers and pesticides which is not good so if we follow certain good agricultural practices good means what instead of using fertilizers and pesticides if we use uh, you know what we call it if we use uh, compost for agri farming activities then it's okay and that will be called as uh, good agricultural practices so this is expected instead of using fertilizers it is always better to use compost and through that we can go for organic farming that is the most uh, recent agenda in every farmers list people are going for organic farming and through that they are protecting land even they are protecting the health of the people if we eat organic food then it's okay if we go for you know 
chemical uh, you know contained food those are not good then rem uh, remediation of polluted soils there should be some sort of remedies and solutions to polluted soil uh, we can reduce the percentage of pollution also by applying some remedies those can be here those can be applied here then prevention of erosion and uh, silting that can be also done silting and the erosion is the process of preventing land from the pollution then containment of hazardous waste and wastewater treatment using land treatment techniques so if you want to you know protect land from hazardous water and hazardous waste so there is a treatment which is called water treatment using land treatment for techniques those techniques should be used to prevent land from the pollution there are three r's which are always used as far as uh, uh, environmental pollution are concerned and those three r's are here reduce reuse and recycle so these three r's are the reduce means what we are trying to reduce the pollution that is called as reduce reuse whatever we are using once again we are going to use the same things which is called as reuse and recycle once it is reused then we get out to make a recycle of that again we have to make into the process of uh, remaking that particular product pro product or things so it is for about three hours reduce reuse and recycle if i'm not wrong so now the last type of pollution we are going to see here and that last type of pollution is radioactive pollution remember this one is a new and another type of pollution that we have what is that a radioactive pollution so this one is a just this one is a just a type of pollution and uh, that we can get an information about this i think we guys have not heard about this you guys have also not heard about this kind of uh, pollution what is this radioactive pollution that i'm going to tell you see despite the advantage of nuclear as a clean energy a big concern is the resulted from nuclear reaction which is a form of pollution called radioactivity as we know that uh, nuclear energy we all are using for our day to day life and uh, for different activities but that energy is uh, you know also having some adverse effect some radiations are coming out or some radiations are uh, you know contained in, in that sort of energy and as a concern of that or as a result of that we have to face the problem of radiation which is called as laser rays which are not good for the human health and now does it is happening even we use mobile laptops and screens for different purposes so when we use um, this kind of mobile and laptops and screens for different purposes radiations come out uh, i think there is one particular formula and by using that formula on mobile by typing some words and you know text or special character you can understand what sort of radiations or rays are rays are coming from your mobile in a very good manner so radiation laser rays will form radioactive pollution and whatever radiation we get from this nuclear energy and uh, this radiation will will form means uh, you know will create radioactive pollution so whatever radiations that we get as a part of result of nuclear reaction from nuclear energy it becomes radioactive pollution so this is the thing that i would like to tell you about uh, radio as uh, sorry radioactive pollution then causes of radioactive pollution there are so many causes there are so many uh, you know causes of radioactive pollution and these are nuclear power plants uh, i think we have uh, power plants in india and uh, from those nuclear power plants this radioactive pollution or radio rays or radio uh, nuclear reactions are resulted and nuclear power plants plants are uh, you know located or settled at uh, neveli and uh, kalpakam kalpakam is in kerala then nuclear weapons like missiles i think uh, we create missiles for the defense purpose and whatever missiles you are making in the process of nuclear weapons again there is a chance of radiation those are harmful then disposal of nuclear waste whatever waste is created or generated from nuclear uh, 
activities it becomes nuclear waste so if we dispose if we do not dispose them then again there is a question and because of this kind of disposal of nuclear waste it becomes you know polluted uranium mining uranium uranium is the you know factor that affects on radioactive pollution even it affects on land pollution also so if we go for this uranium mining then again it will be hazardous or dangerous as far as radioactive pollution is concerned so this is for radioactive pollution that i would like to or i wanted to tell you then effects of radioactive pollutions there are so many adverse effect of radioactive pollution which we are coming across as we know that every pollution is not good there is no good pollution as such pollution is always bad whatever sort of pollution it is whether it is you know uh, land land pollution soil pollution uh, water pollution air pollution so whatever it is or radioactive pollution all pollutions are bad there is no good pollution uh, pollution as such and uh, if uh, our mind also get polluted then it is also bad so there are certain effects of radioactive pollution and these effects are these diseases include blood in cough basically because of this kind of radioactive pollution diseases related to blood cough are you know expected and ulcer ulcer is another disease that we get and because of this you know uh, radioactive pollution so we get diseases only and uh, which are not good because radioactive radiations which can be called as uh, you know reactions of radiation which are not good for the health there is maybe a possibility of ulcer then there may be a possibility of swelling on bone joints whatever bone joints we have there may be a swelling because of radioactive pollutions cancer there is a possibility of cancer then there is a possibility of lung cancer skin cancer bone cancer and eye problems mostly we see that even the small small kids also got specked because of use of screen means mobile and tvs and laptops we feel good when our small ch child operate mobile or watch you know operate laptop we feel very happy but actually at this particular age these things are not good enough for the health of the child and because of this kind of radioactive pollution so we may face certain diseases in our life such as cancer cancer is the you know uh, main disease that we get from radioactive pollution in cancer there are different type of cancers we may face or from we suffer like lung cancer skin cancer bone cancer eye problems that we get so this is for effects of radioactive pollutions then how to prevent of radioactive pollutions if we want to pro uh, prevent radioactive uh, pollution then what are the ways of preventing it or how to avoid that that we are going to see now as far as prevention of radioactive pollution is concerned there are different ways and there are different uh, options and there are new, different solutions to prevent it the first one is avoid constructing nuclear power plants so it should be avoided as far as prevention of radioactive pollution is concerned we should avoid constructing nuclear power plants which are there for creating nuclear energy so instead of going for nuclear energy we should go or we should try another option for getting the energy and this is what this uh, we should avoid constructing nuclear power plants then avoid using nuclear weapons then whatever weapons we use with the help of nuclear so we should avoid those nuclear weapons for different purposes then have proper treatment for nuclear waste whatever waste we get from nuclear activities those should be properly treated and there should be a proper treatment for those kind of nuclear waste and that is expected and the next one is avoid mining of uranium and to a minimal if we minimal the activities of uh, uranium mining then we will not have any hazard or problem of radioactive pollution and this is the thing which we expect as far as prevention measures of radioactive pollutions that i wanted to tell you so this is for prevention activities but one thing i would like to tell you here 
prevention prevention uh, prevention should come out from our own mind first because we all are you know just talking just giving presentation just we also give some lectures on how to stop project pollution and all but it should not be a topic of uh, you know discussion it should not be a topic of uh, uh, teaching others it is a topic of learning and implementing in our day to day life so whatever pollutions we guys have discussed no doubt pollutions are not good at all as i told you at the beginning of this session pollutions are always bad whether it is whatever it is so if we take proper preventions to uh, get prevented from those or any type of prevent pollution then that is always okay and this is what somebody said that prevention is better than cure agar the helanth upchar gane paksha if we take a proper care then it is always better so prevention is better than the cure and here in this slide we have seen how to we have seen preventive measures of radioactive pollution in a clear manner i hope you guys have understood whatever i told you in this particular session now one more thing that i would like to tell you here no doubt we are the part and parcel of this earth we are getting some benefit free of cost because of the earth we are getting free air we are getting free water we are getting you know um uh means we enjoy a lot on this planet earth so respect the earth because earth has given everything to all of us so respecting to earth is our duty primary duty and if we do not respect then earth will also give in term of return so respecting earth is always good always best and that is our duty also just wait let me see who is there on the board Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Now, what is the madam's house? Play with the land, put it on the ground. Ground, 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 put it on the ground. स्टैंप पेपर वगैरह डिपार्टमेंट ने चंद तस्वीर को हमारे विद्यालय के सामने कर आह हेलो नमस्ते कैसे चल रहा है आपने सांसद ऑफिशियल लोगों ना हम्म हम्म हो 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 हम्म प्राइस चैलेंज पर मशीन क्यों नहीं संगे हम्म 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 very good bad bad mm. thank you sir karo ne the 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 tension ne aple convince ne jat ikade yaat ikade yaat tar tar ikade karaycha mo chote khani karyakram sabanna bolun nako चालू की चालू की तो सर्वनाम कौन सी हम्म हम्म ओके ओके थैंक यू ओके सो देर वाज इट वन कॉल सो दिस इज व्हाट वी गेट हैव सीन आई वाज टॉकिंग अबाउट रिस्पेक्टिंग अर्थ वी हैव टू रिस्पेक्ट अर्थ एनी हाउ बिकॉज़ रिस्पेक्टिंग अर्थ इज नाउ द मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट पीपल आर डूइंग एवरीथिंग विद द अर्थ बट बट दे आर नॉट रिस्पेक्टिंग द सो रिस्पेक्ट द अर्थ इसको हम बोलते हैं धरनी माता को हमें रिस्पेक्ट देना ही होगा यानी नो डाउट हमें उससे मार बोलते हैं तो रिस्पेक्ट के साथ ही बिहेव भी करना होगा सो दिस इज फॉर पोल्यूशन आई थिंक सो एंड आई होप यू गाइस हैव यू नो एंजॉयड दिस लेक्चर्स ऑन पोल्यूशन सो वी गाइस हैव सीन फाइव डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ पोल्यूशंस इन दिस पर्टिकुलर लेक्चर आई होप यू गाइस हैव अंडरस्टूड सो हियर टुडे आई टेक अ ब्रेक इट इज आज थंबवे आता पण कारण उद्या अपन वेगा विषय सुरू करूचर अजु ही लेक्चर संपले नहीं आई एल गेट बैक टू द डिस्कशन पार्ट एंड आई रिक्वेस्ट यू ऑल टू आस्क योर क्वेश्चन एंड डाउट्स इफ यू हैव तुम्हारा क्या प्रश्न आते तो विचारा शंका आती तो विचारा अपन पूरे जाऊत ना क्या प्रश्न शंका शंका प्रश्न का है? आता बोला वे आता बोलू शकता आता तुम्हें बोलू शकता कमॉन 
मी हे रेकॉर्डिंग पण स्टॉप करतो म्हणजे तुम्हाला बोलायला अडचण येणार नाही